Arthur and I were saying pretty much the same thing. And I think it's great because um, often, you, I often hear mathematicians telling, sometimes speaking in, in public, and they say things like, oh, we are nothing but machines and computers, and one day in the future we'll be create robots which are just as smart as we are, and we'll be able to actually transfer ourselves onto robots and things like that. And I, I, I'm afraid that a lot of people believe this. I'm glad that me, both me and Artur, we kind of explained the other side, the opposite, that actually it's not true. It's an illusion, and in fact, life is a lot more interesting. E um dos erros de entendimento com relação à matemática, e eu e o Arthur e o Bernardo falamos sobre isso antes, é essa ideia de que toda matemática tem a ver com números, números e cálculos. Isso não é verdade. E na pesquisa do Arthur e na minha, é claro que há números, mas os números não são centrais necessariamente. Há outras ideias, outros conceitos na matemática que nada tem a ver com números, a priori. There's poetry in math in the sense that it's a creative pursuit, it's discovery of the unknown, right? And, and so every time you're engaged in the discovery of the unknown, you're a poet, you're an artist. So mathematics is not just thinking, it goes far beyond thinking. Brazilian readers are very sophisticated and they, uh, I can tell by the people I meet here in Parachi and also by seeing the kind of books that are being discussed. And so I think they're well aware of the uh, importance of mathematics in our lives and also about the dangers of mathematics. The most beautiful and important things, in my opinion, like love, cannot be measured. That's why the book is called Amor Matemática.